Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading is a general reading to see what messages and guidance Spirit has for you at the time you view this video. Spirit, please connect to the Pisces subscribers of this channel and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher self in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance. So I'm called to say Something is ending and transforming in your life. Currently, you may be in transition, but you're definitely headed towards a much better place uh, or a much, much better situation or outcome. Please connect to the Pisces subscribers, guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher self and high vibrational <clears throat> energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they view this video. Let's see what we get for you today, Pisces. Oops, bump in the table, bump in the table. Spirit, what messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video, please? What messages? Thank you. We have the Six of Cups. This is a, me a memory card. <clears throat> so sorry. Um, so we're, we're seeing that memories may be very important right now. This is about childhood memories, memories from the past, past relationships. This is also a soulmate card. Um... This can also be somebody from the past returning, but we'll see what's going on with this in a moment as we see the other cards. What other messages do you... I'm, I'm hearing also somebody wants to be gentle and kind to you, wants to come forward with their emotions. And then we have the Queen of Cups here, Pisces energy. You're really looking at your own cup. You value, you're focused on your own cup. You're not focused on other people's cups right now because you have learned or experience the fact that you are the only one who is reliable for yourself. You are, not only are you the only one who has been reliable for yourself, you're oftentimes the only one who's been reliable for other people. So throughout the past, you're really looking at, and look at the difference in the cup size, the cup ornamentation. On the Queen of Cups, there's angel wings, there's a ornamentation, adornment, in the Six of Cups, it's more simple. Um, there's, It speaks to simplicity, but of number of simplicity. So we'll see what's going on as we co continue. The Queen of Cups here is also facing backwards. Um, so that may be an indicator that right now you may be fo uh, in remembrance. Any, okay. Then we have the Eight of Wands. There is an energetic shift. This could also be communication, telecommunication, such as internet. Um, this is very fast moving energy. This can be a quick shift as well. Anything else for Pisces, please, Spirit? What else do we have for Pisces? The Eight of Cups or Eight of Wands can be Cupid's love arrows also. What else do you want, Pike? Thank you. This one. So we have the Page of Pentacles. An offer is on the horizon. A message may be coming. It's, it's, a byproduct of something that has occurred in the past or it has catalyzed out of a past energy. This could be a message and opportunity. It could also be a new financial opportunity as well. Other, um, a job offer perhaps. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please? News coming about a job offer. Any, thank you. And then we have here the Ace of Wands. These cards together say this is a new job offer. So for some of you who are in fact looking for a new job or a new business or financial opportunity, these are indicating that an offer um, may lead to a new beginning. And that wish fulfillment. This is beautiful. Nine of Cups, Pisces energy. So something you wanted here is coming to fruition, is coming into um 3D and we see that from 5D into 3D the wands speak about business very practical things where you'll be enabled to grow and blossom let's dive in spirit what is the six of cups for Pisces please what do you want Pisces to know about the six of cups you're you know I'm, I'm getting also for those of you who this may be career related you're you're really looking at what you have invested and what you have really gotten out of your career to date. And now it seems as though you're really looking at new opportunities. This spirit's telling me it doesn't have to just be career. You can apply what I just said to any area of your life. But you're really having an introspection looking at what it is you have been offered. And, and really having 
introspection and insight into that to see if it's time, you know, for you to move forward. What is the six of cups? What is the six of cups for Pisces? Thank you. For the six, this is you examining your all options moving from the six of cups saying you know maybe this isn't feeding my spirit maybe this isn't feeding my soul maybe this is no longer contributing to my soul's journey so let me explore my options here this is a new beginning this is illumination seeing something this is something new coming to cleanse out the past it's new goals new objectives we're seeing also that there may have been a desire to have more in your past that never came to culmination. Or it could also be that in the past you were, this isn't the six of pentacles. I feel, but I am feeling with the seven of cups here that somebody may have given you a greater vision or you may, you, you may have had a greater vision for yourself than the situation you have been in has allowed. So now you're illuminating, getting clarity, getting clear on what it is you want. You're wanting to bring back joy, the joy of childhood, the joy of having a childlike demeanor and disposition, having that creativity, having that clarity, having that youthfulness, sunflowers life, like you, you want to feel vibrant again. And it seems that where you, where you are, whatever situation this is relating to, it just has lost its vibrancy. What is this queen of cups, please? What do we need to know about this queen of cups? Okay, we have a lot. Which ones? Okay, so definitely the 10 of cups. And this one? Okay. And this one? Okay. So, for this Queen of Cups, we, we have you, Pisces, looking at what is going to make you happy. Just as we were seeing, you're, you're wanting to return to a state of vibrancy, wanting to come to a place where you feel youthful again, where you feel happy again, instead of, you know, sitting there accepting things that are, are okay, but are not getting you anywhere, are not adding to your growth. So you're really looking at what it is that's going to bring you joy and happiness. So there's a decision that is coming to fruition here, coming to the forefront, where you're going to need to make or will desire to make the right highest decision for yourself. This is also getting truthful and clear on situations that are beneath you. We can also see in this particular justice card, both a king and a pauper are kneeling before justice because this is somebody in high authority and somebody in a lower authority, a contrasted position that's going to have a balancing out. And that, look at what we have now. Not even a joke. Now we have the six of pentacles. This is about a situation where you are seeking to have happiness and you are making a decision based on the fact that while the situation has been okay, it has not necessarily been balanced, fair, equal. You may have been getting breadcrumbs. This could be from your job. Maybe you didn't get the same type of raise that you think everybody else had, or maybe you just got the bare minimum and you are a key player. Maybe this is in a relationship or family dynamic. However, this is for you. We see we see that there's the overall message here is focusing on what brings you joy, making a decision about situations where it's unbalanced, unequal. The justice card is about equality and balance, and it's making a decision about the situations that no longer are bringing you joy. Because it seems that you're definitely examining these different areas of your life because your your ultimate goal is to go towards the sun, to go towards a cleansing out of the areas of your life that are putting you off kilter, off balance, and bringing you to a place of joy, of bliss, of happiness, of vitality, where you want to give again, where you want to invest yourself again, because the situations around you, many of them, have you feeling as though you're a muted expression of yourself that you're just showing up but you're not showing up like you're present but you're not showing up you're present but you're not there what is this eight of wands for pisces 
So we see here the Eight of Wands clarified by the Emperor moving forward. This is you taking power, being in the seat of power of your life. This can also be communication from a person in a position of leadership or an Aries, a person that could be older than you. This is about moving forward. Remember in the pre-shuffle, we had the death card and the six of swords. There is an ending, a transformation that's going to currently, you are on the precipice of change, Pisces. Whether you know it or not, you are in the process. The process, I'm hearing the process is a spectrum from point A to point B. And each of you are on a different point of that spectrum, a different mile marker on that spectrum of transition from point A to point B. But what we're seeing is the things are set in motion. There's a decision that has been made to transition you to something much better. Now, this could be in your current job that you're going to get a promotion or an increase. This could be you going outside of your current job and finding a new job with a different organization. This could be in a relationship, whether with a paternal figure, a person that's older than you, an Aries, or somebody who exhibits those energies, wanting to move forward and transition to a much better time. I'm hearing you'll be given something. What is this page? Well, and then we have the page of pentacles. Absolutely. What is this page of pentacles, please? What is this page of pentacles, please? What is this page of pentacles? It's a, it's the balancing out. Something is coming to balance out what you have not received in the natural. What is this page of pentacles? Thank you. Yeah, there's a shift. There might be travel involved, relocation, movement. This is you this offer is going to enable you to pursue passions, to feel alive again, that vibrancy. One more card for this page of pentacles, please. Oh, haters are gonna hate. Haters are gonna hate Pisces, but let them hate, let them look. You're gonna be standing there in victory saying, deuces B, you got nothing on me, right? So here, you're, this offer's coming in and it's going to be a grand shift towards a new opportunity for you. you it's interesting because the energy I'm getting off this Five of Swords is not one of jealousy, even though people are going to perhaps have the haterade energy towards you. But that's okay. Let them drink their own cup of poison. But here, you're having victory. You have been through so many battles, but have not won the war. This is a turnabout where you're finally getting from the Five of Swords up to the Six of Swords. You're transitioning out of stages of battle, out of fighting for the bare minimum, of wanting the bare minimum, to you receiving more than enough. This is a resurrection. This is a transformation over your life, a rebirth of your spirit, of your soul, of your passions. You're going to sit there and be victorious over those who would have desired to see you in a lesser position of those having victory over those who would have desired to see you weakened by circumstances where you were not getting your fair share what is this ace of wands for pisces please spirit what is this ace of wands for pisces please what does pisces need to know about this ace of wands It's harvest time, baby. You you have been growing and waiting for this grand opportunity for your harvest, for your manifestations to come from the 5D to the 3D. You have been sprouting new growth in your life, new opportunities. Each of these leaves on this branch, on this wand, is a passionate new opportunity, a manifestation opportunity that has been born out of your passion, out of your own energy, that you have planted the seeds of these manifestations and now it's coming into fruition from the 5D into the 3D and you're going to be able to yield your ROI, your return on investment. The effort you have put in is now paying off and you're going to be able to benefit from the work you have done. This is you, this is also you making a choice out of all the different options you have manifested in your life and choosing the one or ones that is best for you. What is this nine of cups that, which is your wish fulfillment? You're going to have an opportunity to have your wish fulfillment. What is this nine of cups? What is this nine of cups for Pisces, please? What were we saying, Pisces? 
Victory is here. Victory is now. One more card for this Nine of Cups. Okay, so let's take a look at what the victory is over. Victory over deception. This is you having an exit strategy, moving away, having victory over anyone who would have sought to trap you and trap you. So we have two different dynamics here. A situation where you may have felt trapped, but also a situation where people may have been trying to entrap you, to keep you, to catch you, to snare you in their net. And you called upon divine and said, remove my feet from the snare of the evil net. And then we have the nine of swords. Look at slaying dragons. This is literally what we just said, Pisces, calling upon divine saying, remove my feet from the snare of the evil net. Taking out the heartache, removing those sores from your life, saying, not today, Satan, not today, haters, not today, effery. Like, this is you literally turning pain into, like, prosperity. This is you say, having victory over all the evils, all the, all of the different things that for so long have brought you down. You have stayed true. Look at this chariot. Is it? I'm not sure in this chariot card if the person is just holding their hand to their heart. I think it is. But it, it seems as though you have stayed true to your heart. And that has enabled you to overcome all these different deceptive, deceiving energies, the stress, the anxiety, and moreover, the pain and loss and the heartache. You have removed the sores from your own heart. You know, I heard, I heard something um yesterday and it's it was i think it was on a tiktok i'm not trying to tiktok you guys but it's if i break up i'm not going to take time because i'm not i don't need time to heal because i'm not sick this is you being in a position of no, not being sick but being strong you you have victory the time of healing is past you have moved from weakness into strength you have moved from succumbing to this energy to overcoming this energy and that that strength that reclaiming of your spirit of your vitality is leading you directly towards your wish fulfillment towards abundance satisfaction fulfillment in your life spirit one angel answers for pisces for this message please this is a beautiful beautiful reading for you pisces so much beauty but but let us just for a moment take take a, a a moment to recognize and acknowledge the work that you have done the work that you have done to come to terms with the situations in your life both external to you and being accountable for your own role in the situations but then moreover to do the work to move past that, to transition from those situations so you can move to the life of abundance, towards your manifestations, towards what it is you truly want, instead of staying stuck and settled in energies that do not provide you growth, expansion. We have a big fat yes. Just wherever you are, just say yes. Like just allow the spirit of yes to flood your soul and fill your, fill your energy and your spirit and your heart yes 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 just say yes and then let's get some oracles for pisces any oracles for pisces for this reading in in this particular yes card we have the figure sitting here illuminated and balancing the sun and the moon in their hands you have been through the dark and you have been through the light without having been through this contrast you would not have the connection to divine and the insight and the clarity, the sun, right? The, the illumination, the vitality, the birthing of this new abundance in your life. We have three cards here. Fall into my arms, surrender, holding the opposites, extremes of life. This is literally what we just said, the opposites, the contrast, the light and the dark, holding the opposites, relying, relying on divine, surrendering to what is, acceptance of external internal the extremes that you have gone through deception stress envy 
haterade, swords in your heart, the extremes, but also now time to experience the sun, the sun on your face, the cleansing out of these extremes in your life. You're not alone. Isolation, physical connection, community. So this process of your soul's journey, Pisces, is very, can be very isolating and you may have left, needed and required, were, may have been required to leave some people behind because they served a limited role in your soul's journey. So it can be very difficult, but the shift you're headed towards is in alignment with your soul's journey. So, and also remember that you are never alone. Spirit, your guides, gar guides guardians, angels, ancestors, the ascended masters, your higher self are always with you. All you need to do to feel them more, say, please come near me. Let me feel your presence. The weight of the world, boundaries, let it go. It's not yours to carry. This is a release. This is a cleansing out, a release of those burdens, the release of the deception, the release of the stress and anxiety, the release of the heartache, let, letting them go, creating space for for beauty, for abundance, for your wishes, your manifestations to come in and take place of what it is you are truly releasing in those burdens. Spirit, one lucky oracle for Pisces, and we'll close it out. One lucky oracle for Pisces, and we'll close it out, please, Spirit. Please show us what Pisces needs to know. Thank you so much. Your troubles will vanish. Happiness is ahead. You can't even make it up. This is, you are on the path to a new vitality that you have not known or experienced in so long, Pisces. You will receive a check or paper money soon. We do have the page of pentacles for some, as we were saying, for some of you, this is a small gift or financial opportunity coming in. Helping your friend who is in need. Help your friend who is in need. He will bring good luck. So there's somebody around you, Pisces, who may need support or may need um, just the kindness of your genuineness because the genuine kindness you possess to share costs you nothing but has one of the most highest values to other people you exercising and sharing your kind genuine kindness with other people will only bring you good karma you do not need to worry about it taking from you because whenever you genuinely give of yourself with expecting nothing in return, your karma bucket fills up with positive karma. You are missing many opportunities. Take advantage. This is what we're seeing here, Pisces, is looking at your opportunities and seeing there's new opportunities for you. You don't need to stay stuck in the past. There's many things waiting for you um, to exercise your free will, make the decisions to go forward, particularly in situations where things are not equal, things are not balanced, where things have not been giving you ROI, return on investment, there's something better out there for you. If you were looking for a yes or no answer, the, the wish answer is yes. And the number we have here is 609, which reduces to 15, which reduces to a number six. This is the message I have for you today. I wish you the best and hope this helps. God bless.